Okay, we're on the mode f road from uh, Milan to the uh, Mediterranean coast. I can't remember where we're heading to, Savannah or somewhere. And um, Sol is leading on his GT200. Followed by, oh God, Paul, he misses on another standard GT200. Two up, luggage. And we're sitting on a motorway at 63 mile an hour. Happy as you log. A standard 200. So far on the trip, we've done uh, 1734 miles. So they're well and truly run in this one. The one on the Series 2 that's two off had, had about 100 miles on it when it left Birmingham uh, a week ago last Friday. So he's done 1734 miles and it's been perfect running in for it because he's just happy. He's not even hovering his hand over the clutch, whether you can, know, you can see that or not. But they haven't had a hint of nipping up, any of them. They've all run really well. I think Silla's going to be happy to sit behind this one though. No, he he's coming out. Sixty-five now we're doing. Leaving Becco behind proper. Still. Got thirty-six miles and we'll wait for him. Richard, these two in front of us are a testament to the GT kit. Most impressive. Standard 200s. The one in front of me hasn't even got an expansion. Just got um, got MB version 4 big box. Which he was worried about because he'd heard that the version 4 had had issues. But runs well enough on this. Still doing 60. We haven't dropped below 60. We're about, uh, we're about 10 miles now. God, I'm tired. Oddly enough. Doubt we'll see any more Lambrettas now as we're heading in the opposite direction to most. I mean, all well, honest, though. Um, why do you talk with the luggage? You don't want to be doing a lot more than this anyway because it gets really horrible and wobbly. Well, this thing does anyway. I mean, I'm only doing 5,800 RPM. They'll be doing a lot more because they got, you know, fucking the gearboxes on as long as these. But yesterday I was riding at 75 for a bit and it was absolutely fucking horrible. Just too much white on the scooter. So yeah, there's a proof he's got more to go. Get round the lorry, he opened it up and all that's holding him back is sullen not opening his up. Sitting at 62 mile an hour. The reason my uh, head temperature is in the yellow, by the way, is because at this RPM, my uh, ignition is still quite advanced. It's probably sitting at about 22 well, it's degrees. Not that hot. Another time during the 1700 miles, I've had it up to 215 degrees, and it hasn't seized once. Been as happy as Lara. There's another GT behind us, quite happily bladdering along two up as well, that's got the side moulds on as this one has. The one behind us got a little bit of exhaust work though. Not much, just a little bit of a rise. But the one in front of me is absolutely box standard. Just bolted on. Probably the symptom. Let's be running right 
now, we'll see what happens. See if we can fucking sit at six stop. It's not going to be pushing it every time we uh, stop. We could just charge as far from the sparks, it could be that. That's all right. Right, we're getting close to the Mediterranean Sea now, we've just seen it. Somewhere up some hills, I don't know where the fuck we are, but we're, we're high up. We've been climbing for about an hour. Doing a bit of lorry following because it's fucking windy out there. tonight when we get to this hotel but I'm more in an now I'm thinking see if, see if it cuts out yeah it does it does cut out so it's not ticking over it's definitely got ring problems but as it started I'm kind of thinking I'm kind of thinking I might leave it No parking, fuck no, parking's terrible. They must have an underground car park, I ain't paying a fiver to park there. I'm gonna fucking laugh, you know. 